Of the 109 new cases reported yesterday, two are on Kauai, with one of them linked to inner island travel. Joining us this morning is Kauai County Mayor Derek Kawakami. Good morning, Mayor. Hey, good morning, everybody. All right, first off, there's been talk about reinstating the inner island travel quarantine. I know you're kind of on the fence about it, but what's your position on that? That should be the ultimate last resort. I mean, we're trying to march forward and advance our communities forward as far as recovering the economy. People um, need to generally apply the best practices that we've been speaking of to their daily lives so we don't have to move back. We've worked so hard and so many people have made sacrifices to get to this point. Um, what we need to do is control the situation. Now, earlier in the week, you mandated masks for anyone five and over, indoors and outdoors, when near people from a different household. Now, Governor Ige wants to impose stricter rules regarding gatherings of 10 or less people and closing up bars again. What's your take on that? Well, masks are proven to help stop the spread of the virus. So, you know, we've already uh, introduced that mandate. Um, as far as the gatherings, we've already introduced the rule to limit indoor gatherings to 10 or less, and outdoor gatherings, we kept it at the same level because we're encouraging our society to say that if they ultimately have to gather, that it's safer to do it outdoors. So we're putting up these different rules to sort of encourage and push people in the right direction without being uh, overly heavy-handed on the situation. As far as bars closing down, you know, Kauai's bars and restaurants, I have to tip my hat off to them. Um, very early on, they reached out to our incident management team for Kauai and the type of service we offer at our emergency operations center is we have an operations branch that all they do is come up with plans to help restart different government agencies and different industries and they proactively reached out to us to say hey can you help us walk us through what we need to do to operate safely and what type of behaviors need to be controlled so that we don't have to shut down. So for Kauai, we've had buy-in from the industry. And, you know, for the most part, it's not an issue. And like what I said before, we're trying to move forward. At this point, it really is in government. It's people doing the right thing. We've been saying the same things. We haven't shifted or pivoted too much on the operational plan to move forward. It's wear a mask, physically distanced, have good hygiene. Is that something other counties can learn from in terms of the industries being proactive and coming to you guys? Yeah, and you know, we've reached out as well. You know, this goes to hair salons, golf courses, landscapers, the building industry. You know, from the beginning, we've been, we have a seat for the Department of Education in our EOC. And I'm happy that just recently, um, they've re-engaged to work with our IMTs so that we can collaborate on some creative solutions to solve some of their complex challenges and get kids back into a learning environment while preserving the health and safety of not only teachers, faculty, and staff, but the families that these children are going to be going home to. And a lot of them have these multi-generational households with people that have underlying health conditions. And speaking of going back to school, the Board of Education having a big meeting today, whether or not to delay the start of the school year. Where, what's your take on that? They should. They should understand and they should take a look at other cities and other small towns and large towns on what happens when they rush things through without a good plan and you see another shutdown, you see these areas become areas of outbreak. So they should definitely take the time and proceed with caution. You know, this virus by its nature almost forces us to change our behaviors and to also move a lot slower as we move forward. Now, Mayor, bad behavior has forced Polihale State Park to close indefinitely. How concerned are you that maybe some people are just letting their guard down or maybe don't care anymore? At this point, I'm just irritated. You know, this is our very own people. I'm pretty sure it's some of 
the people that are known. And you cannot blame anybody else. I mean, you had 80 people that had a permit to camp and over 1,000 people there. So it's not like it's a small group of people. And then some of the reports are getting back as to what was happening down there. You know, Pokehali is Vahipana is a sacred place. In fact, every place on Kauai is sacred. But Polihale especially is a place that deserves respect. And, um, you know, it, 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 it's not so much irritating as it is concerning and heartbreaking because um, this is our own people that have to live here. And for responsible families that are utilizing this time to reconnect and do things, you know, their plans to go down to Polihale and experience that beauty and that sacred place is ruined.